Hello everybody, just had the best day at the House Plant Festival at the Garden Museum. There was huge queues to get in, but it was well worth the queuing because it was such a good show. There was lots and lots of plants for sale and some really interesting and unusual things. So here's the video, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we're on the stall of La Parmont and I'm here with the two owners and I want them, just going to ask them to say a little bit about what they're all about. So yes, we are L'Appartement, my name is Frankie, and um, we're all about um, entire design with plants. So we're selling plants, but also we help a customer to understand what type of plant is best for them house and decorate the entire with it. <laughs> That's lovely. It's incredibly busy. There's a queue round the block, uh, round the corner, and we are just having a little quick coffee to get our energy back up again. We're in the garden of the Garden Museum at the moment, and behind me here is the grave of John Tradescant, and that's the famous Tradescant collect plant collector whom the plant Tradescantia is named after. This is a beautiful little courtyard garden which is completely hidden away in central London, which apparently is currently under risk because a, a local apartment block is being built and they're scared that it will actually cast a shadow over this garden and will actually make the garden um, impossible to grow because it's not going to have any sunlight, which is a real shame because it's a really beautiful little spot hidden away inside the garden museum. Today. That's yeah. my. I'm making. I have run a YouTube channel, oh, cool. so we're just making a video about today. Yeah. Do you want to just say something quickly about your how you sell plants and what you're? Yeah, of course. What you're doing if, if you don't mind being yeah. videoed. Yeah, is that okay? No, that's fine. So uh, we are Patch. Uh, we're an online plant company. We're based in London and in Paris, and we are really happy to be here today. Uh, this is not normally what we do. We normally deliver them directly to your door, but it's lovely to have people coming to see Patch plants in person. Everything that we get is from AAA growers. Um, and uh, we're excited, we're just about to start crowdfunding actually, so we're excited to grow throughout Europe as well and hopefully to more of the UK. What's your website address? It's www.patchplants.com. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. 
Here for me is the highlight of the entire day. This is Alan Titchmarsh's actual jumper. or do you just make and sell them? We do, we run workshops. It's really nice to allow people to make yeah. their own as well. So we do a bunch of workshops across London. Okay. In our two stores and also in Where are your stores? We've got our um, original shop is in Cross. Okay. Um, yeah, down south. And then we've got another store up in, just off the Peel, on top of the Oh, fantastic. So we just opened there. Oh, great location. What's this little plant in there? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, they're native to Peru. Yes. I've seen the ones that you have like, down there that are more than normal. Yeah. But these are these are yeah, they're really kind of cool. And I love the, the shape and the slight um. Yeah, they're really good. And they work really well in that size. They don't want the This is Emma, the founder of London Terrariums. Hi, hello. Hi, Emma. Maybe you need to come a bit closer. If you want to just sit, tell, say hello, say a little bit about your company. Yeah, so uh, we started London Terrariums about five years ago. Um, basically, we sell um, all sorts of products from home. Making terrariums, making terrariums for our friends and family, and then started doing workshops. Um, now we do loads of workshops a couple a week, uh, corporate ones, team building, and ticketed ones like we're doing here today. And yeah, we've just got like a nice selection of all the terrariums big ones, little ones, little moss areas as well, because we love moss. Hi, I'm Deborah, and I'm the founder of Horticure. Horticure is a platform for plant care. We really help you with everything that you have to consider when you bring the plant home. Um, so that includes repotting, fertilizing, treating pests or disease issues with your plants, even sometimes selecting the right plants for your space to begin with. And we do all of that um, in London, in Berlin, and a few other cities in Europe, and also in the US. Wow, yeah. lovely, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I'll take a... Uh... Yeah, 30% off your first free consultation, although I imagine you're probably pre permission. I'm Fran Bailey from Forest. We've got a stand here at the show today. We've actually got two shops in London as well, in Deptford and East Dulwich. So if you can't make it to the show, then it'd be great if you come and see us in the shop. Um, some other brilliant businesses here, all very horticulturally themed. There's booksellers, there's pot sellers, there's experts on hand to give you advice and tips. So um, a great show altogether. So I think this one's been very successful. So if you didn't make it, hopefully there'll be more again in the future. And we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yes. You sold the whole show. <laughs> 
So you, and you, is this this is all you just sell house plants? Is that your? I do and I do books actually. Oh, so you do I've house plants and books. books. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. They're gorgeous um, plants. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice, really I, nice I, I selections. Oh, you do? I, yeah, oh, really? Yeah. I've done a couple of the RHS. Oh, I have that one. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is the new one, the Healing Power Plants. Oh, excellent. I'm with um, Maya Thomas, who is um, just giving us a talk about the provenance of buying plants and how to know that we're buying a plant from a reputable source and the importance of that. So I just want Amaya to say a little bit about that. Hi, so okay, uh, so in terms of where you're like buying your plants from and knowing where they've come from, I think we needed to talk about it in terms, in the same terms that we would about sourcing our food. So we want to know that it's come from a reputable retailer, we want to know that they're, um, that it's been grown ethically, that waste is not too much of a problem and that pests and diseases, that it's in terms of biosecurity, that there's been lots done to ensure that these plants aren't going to be carrying those pests and diseases into this country. Um, we obviously import a lot of our house plants um, and otherwise into the UK. So one of the ways that we'll be able to do that in the future next year, 2020, is with the Plant Healthy Scheme. This is a scheme being implemented by DEFRA. Um, and it's going to be a logo quite like the Soil Association logo that you'll be able to find. Um, retailers will be able to carry this on their plants and in their stores. And so as consumers, it's up to us to be able to ask the right questions from our retailers. So where have these plants been grown? Have they gone through all the proper biosecurity measures? Where are the nurseries based in Europe? Or is it a UK-based nursery? And I think that's one of the things that we can start to ask about is um, there has been a decline in UK um, specialist nurseries. So if we're then going to our, our plant shops and saying, where do you get your plants from? Is it from here or is it from Holland? Are there any nurseries that you're working with in the UK, organic nurseries, etc.? cetera? Um, then that will help to start to change things in terms of getting what we need. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maya. Thank you.